Good morning and thanks for being here. Curve Therapeutics is uh, totally focused on neurodegenerative diseases with the one exception of us doing oncology and, and treating brain tumors. Um, we're doing a new mechanism of action by bypassing the blood-brain barrier. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. One is to cross over using an infusion. One is to bypass it using the nasal cavity. Uh, this is our reason for being, and we have, I want you, everybody to know, we have a lot of data. Uh, it's impossible in nine minutes to present all of that, but we did bring a really strong science team, um, Glenn Cornetto, Chief Science Officer, and our Chief Neurologist, uh, Bill Shankel, is here, and we're happy to do a breakout to go through all of the data. Okay, so what we're trying to do is a new method of action and what we're, what we're doing is really disruptive and we're going to be a new paradigm. The medical industry doesn't do new paradigms terribly well, but we've been doing this for a long time, which is why we have so, many, so much data. Uh, we have 17 peer reviews on just our nose to brain work alone, and we have um, uh, several others in process. And these are with Harvard Medical School, Johns Hopkins, uh, Karolinska in Institute in Sweden, among many others. So we, are, we, we have some really credible data that we would really like to share in more detail. So please, uh, come see us. First question that everybody's gonna ask is, can you bypass the blood-brain barrier and actually get in the brain? And the answer is yes, you can. The one in the bottom left is somebody looking to the left, and you can see that there's a large bolus right in the olfactory region at the top of the nasal cavity and then it translates through the cribriform plate and into the, through the olfactory neurons and getting into the brain. The one on the right is a person looking directly at you, and you can see where we take that bolus and we can concentrate it there. So one of the things we were told you'll never be able to do is to target in the nasal cavity because it's anatomically impossible to do, and we could. It can't. It's a physics issue, not a chemistry issue, not a biology issue. So we solve the physics problems in drug delivery to get it to the area where it's going to do the most good. And we can get it into the brain. Um, once we did that, all right, this is the, all right, we have a lot of data. We took these slides out, so we have the wrong presentation up, but we're gonna run with it. Um, this is the, um, uh, as, as, published in the plenary meeting with Alzheimer's Association a couple of years ago, we were really separating from placebo in our Alzheimer's patients, and that's our first target. So in the CNS, we're gonna do Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis. We've got 15 clinical trials running around the world right now in nose to brain. In the plenary meeting as presented at the time, we did, we, they, we separated from placebo in short-term memory, attention span, verbal fluency, but you can see we also slowed the progression significantly in the bottom line there. You'll see the, our intranasal insulin group uh, significantly slowed. Um, uh, we're also working with a pioneering neurologist who is also here today. His name is Bill Shankel, and we're delivering a polyclonal antibody called IgG, and we're doing that in nose to brain. Now, the theory behind doing it intranasally was that uh, you can get 30 times more in the brain if you do it intranasally than you can with, a, with an infusion. Um, so we went with a 30 times lower dose. So we're 3,000% lower than an infusion. If you uh, just cast your mind back to a recent Alzheimer's drug approval, they went with their most toxic dose because it was the only one that they had that was actually showing any benefit. Well, we can do that with 3,000% less drug going in. So think about the dose flexibility you have in being able to uh, lower the dose, and then you can raise it. You're not at your ceiling day one. Uh, so uh, Bill Shankel is here. We have a lot of data. Come see us after the, after the presentation. These are all of the things that we delivered nose to brain so far. The stem cells are what we're delivering for glioblastoma. Uh, with the exception of live vaccines and inert vaccines, we've done all of these things. Polyclonals, monoclonals. We've done combination products, nose to brain, where we did three drugs at a single time. We can also do them in parallel or in series 
Uh, so the technology platform that we use to do this is very broad, and there's really no liquid that we haven't been able to deliver. Theoretically, we could do a dry powder. What we're, we're planning on being at the leadership of this through the foreseeable future, and what we're looking at right now is we first, we're the first ones to get drugs uh, empirically into the brain, and that, pre that is presented here by the yellow uh, section. That's where the drugs are delivered, but what do you do if the brain tumor is in the back of the brain? Okay, so our storm cloud is the red, and what we're going to do, and what we're, we're putting into place right now, is taking that yellow drug, and we're gonna be able to move it and drop it right on top of that tumor. It doesn't matter where in the brain your problem is. We're gonna be able to put it there, we're gonna be able to move it. We can also move it more than once. So the, uh, the technology platform is gonna be able to put some here and then later on put some there with a single dose. Um, so it's going to be extremely robust and we're gonna be able to now target in the brain like we do in the nasal cavity. We decide where it goes. Uh, our commercialization strategy is uh, razor razor blade. The patient's gonna buy that bottom base unit once. Um, and then as they're on it, for like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, we have some of these patients that have been on this technology for 10 years now. They're, they're Alzheimer's patients who still drive cars. So the, um, the, this is a daily use, twice a day, every month, that cartridge at the top will empty, you're gonna pull it off, throw it away, put a new one on. So we're gonna effectively own that patient. Now we are a drug company as well as a device technology platform, but we also have pharmaceutical partners. And this is very attractive because of the ownership of the patient. Either they're using our technology or they're not getting, they're not getting a benefit. We have a whole family of products that we are going to be demonstrating uh, after this presentation. Uh, a lot of them are larger and smaller, uh, depending on the uh, particular application. For Parkinson's, we're doing a drug that is going to be delivered at 150 mLs per month. That is just a huge amount of liquid. So the device got bigger with a bigger reservoir, and we have also some really tiny ones that are smaller than a Flonase bottle that someone will carry around and use every day. Every one of our devices has built-in electronics and patient lockouts, counterfeit lockouts, but more importantly, we can do compliance monitoring. We can do dose counting. We can alert the patient that the dose is needed. It's time now for you to take your dose. All right, I'm here as the CEO and founder of the company. I can talk to everybody about the uh, technology that we're developing. Tom McDowell is a team member we brought. If you wanna talk finance, we're gonna all be together. Herman Plank here is our VP of Manufacturing. You invest in the team, we know that. If you wanna talk blockchain, Herman is your guy. And for our data, Glenn Cornett is our Chief Science Officer, and Bill Shankle will be here. Love to see you guys come out and see us. So we have finished phase one, two, and two B. Uh, we have good data, and we're planning the end of phase two, and we are phase three ready. So we are gonna have that meeting with the FDA. Uh, we've already had a preliminary meeting on number of patients, number of facilities. So we're one study, one study from commercially launching. So we're gonna conduct that end of phase two meeting and we're gonna uh, have the phase three Alzheimer's program. We're here to announce that we're doing a Reg A plus general solicitation. We're gonna raise between 20 and 75 million to fund these two things. And the polyclonal antibody phase two for Alzheimer's is also on the ticket for the money that we raise. And we're gonna out-license uh, all of these opportunities, or a lot of these opportunities to uh, pharma because there's simply too much to do for a single company. Um, so in, in summary, we've got really favorable clinical trials and uh, we have very flexible design and active electronics. My timer's just clicked off, so please, any questions, we'd love to see you.